So in Power World, one of the ultimate chases are those legendary schematics. These blueprints once obtained offer you the chance to create the very best items in this game in regards to armor and weapons. In this video guide, I bring you four incredible ways to farm these schematics, which you can do at more or less any level. So let's go. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and before we go any further, I am giving away a couple of copies of this game. To be in with a chance of winning one, simply drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. Winners are announced at the end of the week, so good luck everybody. Okay, so schematics do indeed come from a few different sources, but with multiple uh, sources comes multiple opportunities to take advantage of the game's system. So many of these schematics are tied to either world bosses or high level chests. So let's check out some of the tricks and tips we can use for players to take advantage of them. Now, if you are curious as to what world bosses can drop what in regards to schematics, I've made an in-depth guide on this already, which you'll find on my channel and link down below. But on screen now, guys, you can see as to what world bosses drop what legendary schematics. Okay, so let's go and let's get into the easiest ways of getting these legendaries. So first up, we have the high level dungeon chests. So basically, guys, you know, if you're going to a dungeon, any dungeon uh, at all in the game across the board, You'll get to the boss and then there will be a room behind which is blocked off unless you defeat that boss then the pathway opens up but the two chests at the end are classed as high level chests now in the higher level dungeons these have increased drop chances of the better gear including these schematics now there's a trick you can use which is still in the game as of right now uh, i can't guarantee you though that when you actually eventually watch this video if you watch it at a later date that this glitch will still work but if you go to these dungeons at a night time and you have a power that you can mount if you come up here on a night time guys nine times out of ten all enemies and boss within said dungeons will be asleep this is where you can take advantage of this so if you do this guys come up here at a night time any dungeon by the way lower level ones and higher leveled ones just remember if you come up into these high leveled areas as a lower level player you will need heat resistant and cold resistant armors but nighttime dungeons are the best to do this so you go into the dungeon everything's asleep you run to that boss room now if it's a boss you accidentally come across who is a boss that doesn't sleep at night or a power that doesn't sleep at night you run back on yourself then come back to the boss room and the boss would have rotated do this until you get a power that is asleep once that power is asleep once that boss is asleep you can then simply run around said boss and as long as you have that mount on you, you can go up to that barrier that's blocked off and you simply go against it if you get your angles right. When you throw out your mount, you will end up on the other side of this barrier. If that's the case and it works for you, you then just mount your mount when it's on the other side of that barrier. You can run up to the two chests and grab them. It really is as simple as that. And it's a great way of getting not just high level schematics, but higher level items in the game too. So do this while you can guys, because it will not last forever. Okay, so next up guys, we have another great tactic which you can use to farm those higher leveled world bosses. Bosses like Jet Dragon, bosses like the Twins, bosses like Frost Stallion and any other higher leveled boss. The only thing this don't work is on bosses that you find in dungeons or shall we say mine shafts and bosses that we find in those realms. Any other open world boss, this will work like a treat on. All it requires you to do is have a second or third base which you can implement. Therefore, you can use and put down. So how this works is quite simple and you'll see my demonstration on the screen now against Jet Dragon, who is probably the hardest boss in this game. All you want to do guys is just put down that power box as close to the boss fight as you can. You won't get too close to it, it will say you will have a warning on the screen, a notification saying that you're too close to a boss fight. But just go to more or less the perfect point of where you can put it down. So just keep walking back until you can place it down. As soon as you can place it down, just pull it down. From here guys, you simply just want to pull out your best powers, put them into your base slots within your power box, put them in and they'll just all surround your said area, your said power box. Then guys, you just want to kite that boss over. You kite the boss over by shooting them or shooting an arrow at them or going over and hitting them and running back. But as long as you kite that world boss over, when you get back to buy your power box, make sure all your powers are on aggressive and they will fight that world boss. It really is that simple people. This as a lower level player is perfect for fighting world bosses earlier on for sure. So do this guys, try it out, you can do it and farm multiple world bosses and yeah, hopefully you get lucky with that legendary schematic you are chasing and hopefully it drops for you. But again, this will work on any open world world boss, so do what you gotta do. 
Next up guys, we have a specific area, top right of the map, this small little island, which spawns multiple high level chests. Now this is a low drop chance, but hey, it's just free loot at the end of the day. And you haven't got to worry about anything. The only thing you need here is a flyer. Any flyer will do. And you also need those cold and heat resistant armors, depending on the time of day you come up here. But this small island up here, guys, is home to many, many chests. And all you need to do is keep rotating the island and you'll notice someone just pop in and pop out because when they go out around the distance guys there's a chance that they will spawn back in which is just absolutely bizarre now you can see on my map right now guys where these chests can and will spawn and they won't be here every single time for you but these are the spots in which they can spawn in so yes just rotate the area remember these spots probably mark them on your map too it's probably going to be easier for you so mark these spots on your map these are where these chests can spawn in so just rotate the area guys and just grab the chest and it is as simple as that now what i will say is these chests don't only just drop schematics they also drop as well guys the manuals that give you extra uh, technology points so if you're a level 15 you do this if you need those technology points to unlock a certain blueprint as well you can do this guys and get those uh, technology points that way as well they also drop vital materials materials you can sell and this that and the other so yes use this and abuse this not only for legendary schematics but all other loot and chest goodness this game offers so yeah this area is absolutely great and what i will say is there are a couple of other islands on the map like this one one on their west side of the map and one south side these small islands too have the same kind of chests that do spawn in i'm not sure though their class is higher tier chests like the ones top right but you can always come down here much earlier on in the game as well guys and take advantage of the loot that these chests will indeed drop so yes do what you gotta do here guys and get that loot okay so lastly guys we have a strat which requires a certain kind of pal now i've left this till last because that rocket launcher uh, you can't actually purchase until late 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 in the game i think it's like a level 50 so yes this is why i've left this till last but if you have the rocket launcher and you have a pal which is capable of freezing enemies i know of the the blizzard spike can freeze enemies and this does this most often the blizzard spike is found on many many ice piles in the game but it's perfect on frost stallion and how this track works is pretty simple uh insist on screen now you're seeing with the twins as well as jet dragon so all you need to do guys is freeze said boss with blizzard spike and then shoot them with that rocket launcher about eight or nine times out of ten you'll notice that the boss will skyrocket into the air and then fall and die from full damage meaning you can just run over their body and grab that loot now this is perfect for bosses like jet dragon and the twins but it doesn't work on all world bosses it will not work on frost stallion for obvious reasons it won't work on world bosses found within mine shafts because obviously guys they will shoot up and just hit the top of the cave system and fall and won't take barely any full damage and same uh, with bosses you find within those realms too this will not work there but any other world boss guys you find or in the open world where there's plenty of air above them you can use this strat on them now you will have to experiment because as you'll probably notice on screen now with the twins you have to be in mid-air on frost alien to use the blizzard spike and then rocket launcher to shoot them up into the sky and jet dragon it's the complete opposite you need to be on the floor where you shoot with that blizzard spike and he freezes and then you shoot with that rocket launcher and he flies up into the sky so a little bit of testing may be needed on your behalf but this works on all world bosses guys not just the ones that drop legendary loot i mean bosses like german tide this works perfect on too so yeah if you have a power that has any move that's capable of freezing an enemy I, like i said i look for blizzard spike this works best in my opinion but there are a few moves in this game that will freeze the enemy it's just the blizzard spike does it more or less instantly and does it like nine times out of ten so it makes this strat way way easier but yes you have a power with this go up to your world bosses do what you gotta do farm them and repeat the process guys it really is that simple and don't forget the world bosses will respawn on a day cycle so if you're playing on custom settings and you want to farm bosses make sure your days and nights are at a minimum but there we have it guys four easy ways to farm legendary schematics in a world of power world guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one